Cancer, welcome to your um, past life reading for singles. This is a special retrograde forecast, okay? Let's take a look, uh, Cancer. What are the things that you need to learn from the past? Who's your soulmate? Where is your soulmate? When are you going to find them or be with them? And what are the things that you need to know currently? Let's take a look. Okay, you're very religious. You have the gift for healing. Or, you know, right now you could be a part of a medi um, medical field. Okay. Even though right now that you are a globetrotter, um, you actually died in the transportation or while traveling okay it did not really indicate anything about your love life let's take a look uh, i'll just pull out the, the three more huh. Your soulmate is somebody that you're always fighting with. Or someone that you're always, you know, upset about. Or they are the one who's so upset with you. But then there is the kind of connection that you cannot deny. Let's take a look. And what are you supposed to be right now? Okay, you are very religious, okay, in your past life, and you always have that faith in yourself and faith in the world, but then, and you were also, you know, um, gifted with a healing touch or healing abilities, and you've been traveling all over just to heal other people, you know, or just to see other people, and fortunately, this is also how you died. Now... Uh, well, the carriage, or could be the mode of yeah, carriage or train or whatever it is. I'm picking up seventeen hundreds during that time that you died um, while traveling, and somebody ambushed your vehicle. Okay, either it's a carriage, a horse carriage, your horse, or your your um, what do you call this? Like uh, the caravan. That could be it, you know, then somebody just uh, ambushed it and yeah, that's how you died. Now, there are some lessons and blessings that you need to learn and be thankful for from your past life and there right now. And you love spending time outdoors, spending out in the nature and, in, you know, it's like you're living your life like a nomad, okay? You live the life of having that freedom traveling being out in the nature because you're um i feel like you you were once an herbalist okay that's why you're so close to the nature you love being out there camping you know hiking uh going up to the mountains just to pray or just to meditate or something like that and you once lived as a native american but you've had some difficulties in surviving because you've gone through starvation food and hunger Although you're a very good writer, but you're an old soul as well. And whatever that's been happening and going on right now, it's all written in the stars. And the one 
you know the one that's right for you is somebody that you will that you will always have a fight with somebody that you will always be in war or somebody who's all who always feels so authoritative of their own they're very opinionated and they're very not really narcissistic but they are very you know um like very independent they don't like asking for an advice they don't like asking for help they want to remain their you know their strong willness and they thought that or they were thinking that by asking help from other people or letting out their emotions it makes them weak okay and uh i feel like this is either a water earth or air person now you also have some issues being a mother okay uh, you've had two kids in the past and uh, you know it could be that uh, you will also have uh, two in the future and um i keep on getting that you're once a, a very religious person and you um it seems like you um you originated from eastern part of europe okay now the person that you're going to be with or the one that is rightfully meant for you this will come from another place okay the, either this is a a different race dif different ethnicity different language different religion or it could be you know just uh, entirely different from you and there is such an old soul they're very pragmatic dogmatic as well Nah, well, I'm not saying that they are too negative or there are a lot of negative uh, stuff about them. But this is, you know, the moment that you see them, the moment that you meet them. And I'm picking up September, October, and November, okay, during the summer or between, sorry, between summer and fall. And I feel like this is the right one for you. That you, you know, even though you feel like this person will just keep on pestering you. There's something about this person that makes you feel so... You know, like, um, well, this person can just definitely annoy you, um, bring out the, the worst temper in you, but they're, it's like they will always be in your mind and even in your dreams, okay? You can't take them off your mind, you can take them off your head, and even when you sleep, it's uh, there, there, and you will keep on seeing the numbers 9988. Or 11-11. Okay. So. And. You were once bottled. You bottled up your feelings. And even right now. You keep on bottling up your feelings. You're not really telling the truth to, to anyone. If you're hurt. If you're disappointed. If you're offended. Or something like that. And there's too much more of a codependency in the past. Okay. Um, you know how to read the red flags in a relationship. But then you did not really see the things that you need to um, look out for. Okay, it's like you were not really ready about that because you you were too um, confident that things will not go haywire, and you were, you know you remain optimistic about your love life. But right now you're always negative. You always see the the bad things. That even though you want to do this, you want to do that, you always hold back. Because you're so afraid. There are also some family issues that you need to heed or that you need to heal. Because this is the reason why your, you know, your karmic pattern in your karmic life right now or your karmic lessons are not yet healed. Because, you know, there is somebody from your family that you need to forgive. And there's also somebody from your family that you need to reach out to. Or if you have cut them all together, you have to reach out, forgive, and... Now, well, you know, move on from the past. What's past is past. But don't forget that, you know, to set some boundaries. And you're also a very passionate person. You also need to learn, you also, sorry, you also need to learn how to love yourself. It, it's safe for you to love. So stop masking your feelings and stop masking your, you know, your own emotions. You also need to be more out there, okay, because you're too... You're, you're flirtatious, but at the same time that you keep on holding back your feelings, okay? Now, what are you supposed to become right now is that you have that um, unlimited potential to be happy, to, you know, to prosper, to have more money of your own, and to have more, you know, more income. Builder, you... 
Well, I feel like you only learn how to build things when you are kind of a little bit bored, okay? But you love working with your mind. You love working that's more of your ideas. You love to implement them, okay? Or you want to teach other people how to have that same kind of wisdom or same kind of um, uh, confidence or bravado. And you also love flowers or gardening, now there is a call for career change. It could be that you have a um, you know talent in flower arrangement. You also need to um, fix your chakra. You also have the talent in music. Sorry, in the writing. Okay, and uh, expressing or sharing your thoughts. You will be guided by your angels, and trust. You know, you do. You need to trust it because you know the lessons and blessings. This is what you you need to learn, and you need to be more in touch with your earth element, which is collecting crystals. Now, whatever happened to you in the past, I feel like you love to travel, but at the same time, this is where your fear will come from, because you're so afraid that what if you know the plane will crash? What if? Um, you know, you will your car will break down right in the middle of the desert or right in the middle out of nowhere or highway, you know, and stuff like that. So be very careful, okay? There are some other people that will be more of your competition when it comes to your work life or when it comes to your career. They will also try to hijack your, your caravan, okay? Or meaning that they, they will be blocking your potentials and your success because they don't want you to keep on pushing through. So, I feel like you died during the time that your kids are still young or very young. Or, I feel like in your waking life right now, that if you already, even if you're single, okay, that uh, even if you already have some kids, your kids doesn't really get, get uh, you know, th they don't really get in touch with you, or they've already cut you off, you don't have any healthy relationship, or they have totally forgotten about you. Okay? It is because that there was... Well, th there were some ties in the in your past life that was severed out of uh, some some you know inevitable circumstances, which is it's not really your fault. But there are some lessons that you also need to learn here, which is don't be proud, but uh, try to reach out to them and try to melt their hearts. If, you know, even if they are trying to be so hard on you. I know it's easier said than done. And there are some situations in your life right now that you feel like, nope, I'm not going to reach out to them. They've already forgotten about me. I've already erased them. So they're the one who should reach out to me. So if that, if you have that kind of mindset, then I don't feel like it will be fixed. Okay. Worst is they might just uh, get involved with you or they, they might get, just get in touch with you because of uh, whatever that will be left. So I'm speaking for all those singles in general of any age, okay? It's not just that when you're in your 20s or when you're 30s or 40s, it could be that you're single right now and you already have some grown-up kids, okay? So, hmm. and you also need to, p to fix your, you know, your, uh, your, your trust issues in a relationship. Because I feel like you already found the right one and you keep on bickering back and forth that the reason why the two of you can't be together is because you're both proud, you're both um, stubborn as well and you, well, the other one just doesn't want to admit how they really feel or they're still in denial about it. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this month and for this retrograde cancer. If you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.